why be tackling this mess? First we're gonna remove the master cylinder, expansion tank and tidy up these wires so we can have some room to work in. Master cylinders off, brake pipes are off, gives us access to rub that down. Charlie's just dealing with some wiring at the moment. Now the wiring's freed up, we'll get this tied up out of the way and we can start cleaning this up. So we'll get rid of all this crap around here. This will all get sanded in and it will all get repainted. But to get rid of some of this stuff, some of this old wax oil sealant and things like that, we're going to need some special tools. Like an old nectar cord and an old Matalan cord. Got most of it cleaned up now, um, we've got all the wax off, Tack tackled most of the, the bad rust with the grinder and the flap disc, so now we've just got to finish it off by hand on the bits we can't get the grinder into, uh, Charlie's doing quite a good job of that, he's getting there. Then we'll mask it up, we'll get another final cleaning prep before paint, we'll get this sprayed tonight. sand we're now going to go over it with the hoover pick up all the last bits of dust we'll give it another final sand clean it with some degreaser and mask it up ready for paint So we've saved you the pain of watching the masking up because that's probably the most boring bit in the world. But Charlie's just getting at the final wipe down now. And then anything that's got bare metal is going to get a coat of etch primer. And then we've decided to paint the whole of this black. I know it's blue, but we've decided on black. Ok 
Okay, so now that the edge frame is done, it's time for our first coat of black. So it's the next day, the engine bay is all dry, let's get it unwrapped and see how it looks. So guys, that's it all unwrapped. It's looking amazing. The next job isn't a good one. Um, it's under seal on the bottom. This stuff's messy, it's horrible. If it gets in your hair, you're not getting it off. But it's something we have to do. So we're just gonna crack on it and get it done. But first we need to run to the shop and we need to grab some brushes for under sealing. So yesterday, we drove around all our local area um, looking for paint brushes and of course, we never, we couldn't get anything. So, today... We've driven half an hour to a DIY hardware store and they still have no brushes. It's hopeless. First it was toilet roll with COVID-19. Then it was hand sanitizer and face masks and now it's bloody paint brushes. It's like an hour later, we've wrecked the whole of this hardware store. Big name hardware store and we found one packet. Right guys, that's the back wheel arch liners off, finally. They were a bit tricky with some rotten bolts. Um, but while they're off, I'm going to go straighten up the sills. Charlie's cleaning the back arches. Just go straighten these out. Somebody's jacked it up in the wrong place. Another pet hate of mine. Hate when people do this, but we're not trying to get it too perfect because I've got a wee plan for this side and the other side. Um, it might not be left stock, but we'll wait and see. On next week's video, we're going to have a wee look at a set of side skirts for this, so stay tuned. to get all this cleaned up and under sealed but we have found some damage on the sills so there's a little bit that needs a couple of bits of welding on it um, but we've also kind of flipped the plan a little bit um, and we've got some 
some aftermarket side skirts that I think we want to use. So we'd like to get them test fitted, drilled, secured before we remove them and then put the under seal on because it's messy stuff and it ends up everywhere. Um, so it's better to get all of that done first. Um, we'll test fit the wide arches as well. And when, when we're happy with everything, that's when we'll get the under sealing done. So suppose that's pretty much a wrap for the end of this video because we'll need to go and get the fixings for the skirts. We'll need to adjust the skirts to fit. We need to wait for the arches to come there on the way. And we need to get some mountain hardware for them as well. So yeah, that's it for this video. Um, it is the 4th of July. So happy 4th of July to all our American viewers. And uh, have a great day.